Hey you guys, it's time for my Slay May to chat with you. So I don't even think I put a description in, which is terrible because people don't usually watch unless you put in like something traumatic, right? Like some kind of train wreck that makes people want to watch. So first of all, I'm here to talk coffee. Okay, just real quick. I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to see if we can do this in three minutes. Okay, so I'm here to talk coffee. So I want to know what is, if you like coffee, because not everybody does coffee, and I totally get it, and I totally respect that. I wish I could grow up and be like you, like for real, okay? So tell me how you like your coffee. Are you like a drip person? Are you a percolator person? Are you an espresso person? Are you a Keurig person? Are you an instant coffee person? Are you a Starbucks person? Are you a Dunkin' person? Like, tell me, what's going on? And then how do you take your coffee? Like, when you go to Starbucks or Dunkin', like, tell me your secret recipes. I always learn so much fun stuff. My favorite is when people are like, oh, I go to Starbucks and I get da 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 and sugar-free syrup. And I'm like, Psh. I just learned, like, two weeks ago that they have sugar-free syrup. What? I've been wasting all these calories all this time. So tell me what yours is, and then I will fill you in with what mine is in the comments. Um, so maybe I'll just tell you in just a minute when the timer goes off in two minutes. So um, I am going to invite some people in. I just hate talking to myself all the time, you know? I mean, I really don't hate it. I'm an only child. It's fine. I'm used to it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so tell me what kind of coffee drinker you are. All right, and then really quickly, I want to show you. I just did this look in my VIP group. So I do a skills lab um, every week. It's just an, it's a new thing that's just started, but I'm realizing that women are not confident putting on their makeup. Like, no one really ever taught us, right? And so how many of you did, like, the same makeup look? forever like I wore the same covergirl eye palette for 15 years and it had the color black in it not that there's anything wrong with it but like I didn't even wear pink eyeshadow or neutral eyeshadow until like three years ago okay so nothing wrong with it but I just wanted to show you this super quick look that I did in my group today I used two eyeshadow colors so this one right here is called Bella Shimmer this right here is a limited edition um, so that means it won't be around forever. And then this is a permanent line. This is called Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. And I swatched them on my hand for you. They might not be dry yet. But here is Bella Shimmer. Here is Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. These are lip senses from a sale that I did like three nights ago. Yes, I bathe. But like, look at that. Look at my lip sense, you guys. Sorry, one of my lights went out. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. And then these new powders that they released are giving me life. Like, I don't know what to do with myself. Like, this one right here, this new translucent powder in translucent, it looks white, but it's like one of those selfie, like, I don't know what you call them. Like, I need to be more versed on this. But I don't know. I just know it's amazing. So, uh, this white powder right here, I put it all under here. Oh, my time is up. I put it all under here. I put it here, and I put it here. And it has this, like, super mattifying effect. It's full of cenopeptides, three peptides to be exact, antioxidants. It's super amazing. But I put it here, here, under my eyes. Like, look how bright they are. I put them here. And then our new Silver Rose blush is phenomenal. Let me show you how glittery it is. Are you loving that oh my gosh I'm loving hey Tara I'm loving our new powders so they are giving me life like I was like I don't even think I need to put on our pearlizer today because like all this was giving me life oh p.s. on my lips I'm wearing that same shadow sense and on my cheeks I am look yes shadow sense is so versatile eyes cheeks and lips today so i wanted to show you guys that while we did some coffee talk while you guys dropped your favorite coffee stuff so i just did a simple duo i blended out under here i showed off my powders in my group and i was like you guys these are giving me life like what is happening okay so i will tell you now what kind of coffee drinker i am my sister kind of turned me into i don't even know if it's a coffee snob or if it actually like makes me save money hey terry isn't it two classics? Like, isn't Sandstone Pearl Shimmer just a classic? 
And I've been teaching in my skills lab, we've been calling it the skills to pay the bills. Because it makes you look like you've got makeup artist skills, but really it's a technique called swap, swap, tap, tap. It's so easy. It's so easy. So anyways, my sister, I went to dog sit for her over Thanksgiving, and she had an espresso. I was like, what is this? I took a drink, and I was like, Hoot! That's like the strongest coffee I ever had. So Meredith Burke came in. Meredith Burke, I'm going to tag her in this. And she was like, oh, my God, you're so stupid. I have to laugh, and now I have to help you. And she taught me over Thanksgiving break, she taught me how to use an espresso machine, how to make it taste delicious, and now I have an espresso machine in my house. So I like anything that's a 5 Plus, I prefer a seven or an eight on the Nespresso pod, which is a little bit stronger than normal. I haven't quite gotten into espressos yet, even though I did order a cute espresso cup situation. Terry, what number do you like? And do you like like the biscuit notes or do you like the floral notes? Like when um, Meredith was talking to me, I was like, she's like, I know, I hear myself. I sound like such a snob right now. I was like, I don't even know what you're saying, but flowers do not sound delicious in my coffee. I'm down with biscuits. Biscuits sound good. So I like the biscuity ones, which is like Audacio is one of my favorites. Malazio is like on a, mm, I might not, might not need so. Oh, I see. Malazio is my favorite too. I like Malazio. I like Audas uh, Aud Audacio, however you say it. Um, so that's currently what's in my cabinet right now, and I love the half-calf. So I love my Nespresso. I love my sweet cream. I froth my sweet cream in a frother, and that's all I need. Like, no extra added sugar. I mean, not that the sweet cream, like, mm, can put on the pound, you know. But I literally drink one cup a day, and it's so rich and so delicious. So that's the kind of coffee girl I am. So I want to know, what kind of coffee person are you? And if you missed the options, just hit the replay. But my timer went off, so it's probably been five or six minutes now. So... I just wanted to show off this look that I just did because it is just too pretty. So this is like my, my summer look right here. I normally add the pearlizer, but I was like, God, you guys, this powder is giving me life. I don't even think we need pearlizer. Um, where is she? So this is the pearlizer. This is the JLo glow in a bottle. I'll do a swatch for you just so you can know or if you're like, what the heck is JLo glow in a bottle? This right here, I'm going to be featuring it in my group tomorrow. We're going to mix it with our lotions. But look at that. That's JLo Glow in a Bottle. And you can mix that with your foundation, your lotions, your blushes. Private Selection Breakfast Blend. Ooh. Is that like in a percolator or in a drip? I don't do French press because it's super bad for your cholesterol. And I'm like borderline cholesterol. Like I've been like... Um, I have like a, high, a his family history of high cholesterol, so I have to stay away from the French press. So I don't even want to know what a French press tastes like. Like I hear it's delicious and like the only way to drink it, but I won't even like try it. I'm too scared because I'm afraid I'll like it and then I'll buy one and it's really, really bad for your cholesterol because of the way that it's filtered. Oh, it's a K-cup. And it's the Kroger. Oh, Kroger has an expensive version. Oh, because it's private selection. And it sounded like I said virgin. I meant virgin. I'm not used to these lips yet. Okay, you guys. Well, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm super excited to keep slaying May with you guys and sharing a little bit about my life that you may not have known. So, all right. Peace out, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. All right. Bye-bye.